Hey guys, welcome back to So That's Gaming, and welcome back as we continue our PS Vita series here on the Vita 2000. This time we're going to go ahead and install and get our uh, SD to Vita um, storage set up and installed so that we can use more than just the one gigabyte of internal memory or without having to spend money on an expensive PS Vita memory cards, which as you know, there are no uh, alternatives or OEMs that make those. So the SD to Vita is our only option and it's even easier than it was the first time around. So let's get started. All right, getting things started, let's go ahead and launch our Vita deploy. And we're gonna go ahead and get Vita shell installed because we'll be needing that in a later portion. So we're just gonna go down to the app and app downloader, select Vita shell, and then go back to the top and select download selected apps. Now this is a small program, so it doesn't take very long to install, so. All right, moving right along. Next thing we have to do is we're gonna take our uh, SD to Vita card, and here I have a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. I'm just gonna insert this into the adapter and install the SD to Vita in my Vita 2000. Right there in the game cartridge slot. And now I have this plugin installed. This will make things a little bit easier. <coughs> So next thing we're gonna do is go back to Vita Deploy. And what we have to do is we have to get the micro SD actually set up while it's in the storage. Before we had a format with a special image, but we don't have to do that any longer. So we're gonna scroll down here to miscellaneous, and then we're gonna choose format a storage device. Making sure that the target is set to SD to Vita and the file system is text fat. We can go ahead and choose format target storage It'll take just a moment for it to format, and when it's done, hit OK, we'll back out, and go ahead, and we're going to power off our, uh, we're going to reboot our system, sorry. After we're restarted, we are going to go back into Vita Deploy, and now we have to install the YAMT or YAMT driver. So let's get, get this opened up here. And we're going to scroll down to App Downloader, and we'll scroll down until we see YAMP Installer. We're going to choose that, and go scroll back to the top and choose Download the Selected Apps. And once this is installed, it'll make a new icon on our live area. When this is done, we can go ahead and hit the PS button and exit the app, and we'll have the YAMP Installer installed. We're going to go ahead and launch that. There's only a couple options, the light or the full version, but we don't need the full version, so we'll just use the light. So after this is installed, it'll automatically reboot our console. Once you come back up, we're going to go ahead and go back into settings. And we're going to go down to devices. We're going to choose storage devices. And we're going to enable the YAMT driver. As of right now, UX0 is default and UMA0 will be SD to Vita. So we can't really do anything just yet until we reboot and initialize the driver. So we're going to go back and then we're going to power off and power back on our console so it'll load the plugin for the driver. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Vita shell that we previously installed and we're gonna go ahead and copy the contents of our memory card to the SD to Vita. So we're gonna navigate to UX0. We're gonna hit the triangle key and select mark all. This will highlight everything in the folder. Then we can hit the triangle button again and go down to copy. Backing out to one level up, we're gonna to navigate to UMA0. Hit X and we're going to hit the triangle key and click paste. This will take just a moment to copy. We'll fast forward through this real quick. And then once this is done, we can go ahead and back out. 
And later on the video, I will show you a list of folders to not delete off the internal memory. Now that that has been done and been covered, I'm going back into settings, back to devices, storage devices, and we are going to swap UX0, make that the SD to Vita, and make UMA0 the internal memory card. If you had a Vita 1000 and you had a memory card, you would use memory card. But I have the 2000, so I'm going to use the internal memory since I don't have a Sony Vita memory card. After that, we're going to go ahead and reboot our console and allow the changes to take effect. Once back, I'm going to go down here to Vita Shell and I will show you that our memory card has been swapped or internal storage has been swapped with the SD to Vita card. So if you look at the UX0, now it shows. 128 gigabytes or 119 and then UMA 0 only shows 1.19 showing that that's the internal storage all right hopefully you may all the way here to the end of the video because there's one little note that I have to explain now that our SD to Vita adapter is installed and set up and ready for use there are some files you may or may not want to delete off the original internal memory that got you to this point in the first place now just as a fair warning don't delete everything and I'll try to leave a list of folders that you should not delete in the description of this video. These fo uh, files are important for one primary reason. Should anything happen to your SD to video adapter or the SD card that you're using in it, you won't have to worry about anything happening to your console because if it does not see that storage when your console boots up, it's going to default to the internal memory. And since there are files on your SD to Vita card that are important to have in order to keep custom firmware functioning and potentially not breaking your console, you'll need to make sure you have those files and plugins still available on your internal memory in the event of, of the SD to Vita storage failure. So again, those files and folders I'll leave uh, listed in the description of this video. And if I'm able to, I'll display them on the screen before the end title cards. So if you found this video uh, helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure and click that subscribe button and the little bell icon just below this video. That way you won't be able, you will not miss any future Vita, Vita PS3 or whatever game video that I do in the future. So. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.